guys, I'm too. Hello Sycamore, welcome back from a great weekend and happy Hanukkah to our friends who started celebrating yesterday. Today is Monday, December 19th and welcome to this episode of the Daily Video Announcements. I'm Maddie. And hello, I'm Sarah. Let's all stand, place our hand over our heart, and join us to honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Thank you all and please be seated. Earn your PBIS first class tickets. Do the right thing and treat each other with respect. A smile goes a long way. Yes, choose to do the right thing everywhere and anywhere. Pay, pay a nice compliment to someone today and make it a habit for every day. Hey, it's single digit countdown to winter break. Four days, well three days if we don't count today. And counting down, down, down. Down, down, down. Hey, Sycamore Junior High. Remember to complete the surveys on the communication classroom in the SJH News Crew classroom. Your opinion matters, and you already know the code, OZUJS35, and it pops up right here every day. We got Carter's Top 10 Survey, Evan's Your Preference Surveys, Sam's Magical Monday Snowman, Building Surveys, Student Council Staff Recognitions, Sarah's Would You Rather, and much, much more. Yes, participate, people. Vote and share your opinion. Hey, did you go to the winter dance? Of course I did. Did you have fun? I partied like a penguin. It was so much fun. It was pretty awesome. I chose to dress up and I had a lot of fun with friends. Did you go? Yes, I did. The music was really loud and overall I had a fun experience. Okay, now we have a special message from the High School's Innovation Lab. Wow, cool learning stuff. I think that I could learn that way, working at my own pace and doing extra real learning experiences. I love STEAM learning too. I'm going to have to look into that. It said applications are now open. Now over to Mr. Stern and Mr. DeJoy. Hey, good afternoon, Sycamore. It's Mr. Stern and Mr. DeJoy here to present this week's Papa John Character Awards. Just kind of remind you, these are awards that are presented to students and they are actually created by students. We don't really know who writes them up, but we only know who they are given to. And the one that I have this week, it is for Kaylee Logue. Uh, we're not sure if that is Kaylee Loge or Kaylee Logue, so I apologize. It says, Kaylee is a good person and super helpful. I haven't always been the best person, but she has taught me to be better. She's also a super cool person. Awesome. So looking forward to getting a chance to meet Kaylee, presenting her with her free one-topping large pizza from Papa John's. Sounds like you, a really cool person. I do have a yeah, really cool yes, person, but yeah. I know you have a cool person uh, I, because I, I've read yours. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> well, you know what? I want to thank Mrs. George's uh, Flex Belt class. Um, you were fantastic. I have many awesome write-ups, and I really appreciate um, all your hard work that you put into it. Um, First of all, I want to apologize to this person in case I mispronounced your name. I have Say Ashritha Yara, and actually you had two write-ups, so that is fantastic. And this is what one of the individuals said. You have made me feel welcome and not alone in, in the hard time that I've had uh, throughout the school year. I also have a lot of positive memories and uh, you, uh, I've really appreciated all the time that we've known each other. So. Terrific job. Thank you so much. Um, we'll be down to see you um, sometime today or tomorrow. Perfect. Hey, uh, we'll be in the classrooms of Hammer and Harris this week because we visit classrooms on Thursdays, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Have a great day. 
Thanks, Mr. DeJoy and Mr. Stern. Next up, did, did you, you know? know? Did you know that there's a toilet museum? In New Delhi, the Sulawa International Museum of Toilets features a rare collection that details the historic evolution of toilets from 2500 BC all the way up to present day. Whoa, so you're telling me there are toilets from almost 5,522 years ago? I may want to go visit there one day. I want to just sit on the toilet, you know, read a magazine, stuff like that. Yeah. Anyways, next up, <laughs> National, National day. day! Today is National Hard Candy Day. A favorite of young and old alike. National Hard Candy Day on December 19th recognizes the sweet tooth of us all. That's so cool. What's your favorite hard candy? Mine is Jolly Ranchers. That's just me though. Now over to Carter. What's up everyone? I'm Carter with your top 10 survey results. The last two weeks now, the question has been, what is your favorite soda? In seventh place, we have Mountain Dew. In sixth place, we have Root Beer. In fifth place, we have Diet Coke. In fourth place, we have Fanta. In third place, we have Sprite. In second place, we have Coke. And in first place, we have Dr. Pepper. This week, the question is, what is your favorite high school subject? See you later. Thank you, Cartier. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Kevin Z and Sophia C, who are all celebrating today. Happy birthday, guys. Now over to Mr. Hare. Good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure now to introduce this week's Students of the Week. So our first student of the week is Sophie Burton. All right, and Sophie was nominated by Mrs. Spielman. And again, all of these students exhibit our PBIS virtues of being safe, being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. So Sophie, there is your certificate and Chick-fil-A, more important. Thank you. All right, our next student of the week is Lee Lee nor You said it wrong. I said it wrong. Tell me how to say it. Jeroge. Jeroge. Oh, don't pronounce the end. All right, I like it. All right, Lily was nominated by Mr. Shomo, which is a miracle that he knows any of his students' names. So we'll take that for, okay? And she was nominated for being safe, being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. So here's your write-up. And Chick-fil-A. There you go. You're welcome, hon. And last but not least, Valour Washington. All right, and Valour was nominated by Mrs. Stein, all right, for being safe, responsible, a problem solver, and being respectful. So there's your write-up. And there's your Chick-fil-A. So there you go. All right. So this and all of our students of the week are nominated by their teachers for being safe, being responsible, being res problem solver, and being respectful. So congratulations to our students of the week. <laughs> hey, now we are presenting our this week's Athletes of the Week. So our first Athlete of the Week is from the 7th grade gold basketball team. And this would be Sebastian Gentle. All right. And here's what his coach had to say about Sebastian. First, Sebastian first caught our eyes in the small uh, side games during the open gym. He exhibited traits we like to see in basketball players that we choose for Sycamore. He showed leadership and communication skills. Already this season, Sebastian has either started or come off the bench to help his team hold the line and secure a victory. So congratulations to Sebastian Gentle as our 7th grade gold basketball athlete of the week. Congratulations, Sebastian. All right, there's your write-up and there's your certificate. Thank you. All right. Our next athlete of the week, sit down next to me, okay, this is Haruka Kazake, all right, and Haruka, I'm glad, is a member of the 7th grade Lady Aves gold basketball team, so gold Lady Aves, good job. Haruka moved to the Sycamore School District from Japan this summer. She's made great improvements in her jump shooting, ball handling, and passing, and overall understanding of the game. She's a tenacious defender, and she has over a dozen steals in our first five games. She plays at 100%, and she approaches every practice with the same energy and enthusiasm and intensity as she does games. She observes at practice, she catches on very quickly, and she works through the language barrier. She's become quite popular with her teammates, all right? Um, her mom recently stated Haruka enjoys basketball in conversation with the girls every day. I appreciate them giving her many opportunities to learn all about American life, all right? She has an infectious smile. She's not smiling now. She might be a little embarrassed. That's okay. And an absolute pleasure to coach. We look forward to seeing great things. She continues in the Lady A basketball program. And she was nominated by Coach Frank. So give it up for our Athletes of the Week, both Sebastian and Haruka. You're welcome. There's your write-up, hon. And there's your certificate. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. Hey, 
Only five, four more days left. We can make it. Four more days. All right. All right. Running Club, your meeting is, uh, Running Club is going to start on January 10th. Your meeting will be on December 20th. December 20th, that is tomorrow after school in the Media Center. It'll be about 30 minutes long. If you have questions, see Miss Beatty. Partners Club, you're going to actually meet on Wednesday, December 21st, right after school until 4 o'clock in the Media Center. Remember, if you would like to go to the Perfect North Tubing um, in January, you have to attend two meetings of Partners Club. We can't wait to see you. See you at Partners Club on Wednesday. And we the people, before our next meeting, please complete the pre-assessment sheet from our Wednesday meeting for each of the six units. You can turn them in via Canvas. Complete all the parts. That's it for me. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much, Mr. Harris. Awesome. Now for our not joke, but tip of the day. Hey, what's a good winter tip? Oh, I don't know. Give me one. Never, never start catching snowflakes on your tongue until all the birds have flown south for the winter. That is a really good one. I'll make sure to keep that in mind. Thanks for the tip. I don't want things to get all crappy, you know? Sycamore, let's be kind and follow PBIS expectations. Remember, you're braver than you believe and stronger than you seem and smarter than you think. Keep the positive energy, aviators. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. And of course, go, go waves! And stay I love y'all. Sycamore. I uh, stay classy, Sycamore. And, and stay classy, classy Sycamore. sycamore. <laughs> Who will be named our Sycamore top cop? Of course, Officer Adi is the top cop. Go out and vote weekly on the Sycamore Facebook page for our favorite school resource officer. Go, Officer Adi! This guy right here. <laughs> this this dude. <laughs> and stay classy, Sycamore. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, but mainly stay classy, Sycamore. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy, Sycamore. This is uh, Officer Adi signing out. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> and stay classy, Sycamore.